Hey guys, I am so happy to be part of Amuna Nation. Thank you for checking out the video. You know, on Friday afternoons, my family is often a little bit at each other um, because Friday comes around, we're waiting on Shabbat, and everybody's trying to hustle and bustle and get things done. A lot of times we have all these great intentions in our heads, but we're judging others by their actions rather than giving them the benefit of the doubt. I give myself the benefit of the doubt because I know what my intention is. I know I've got this I want to accomplish, that I want to accomplish. So my, my intention seems to be really good and I'm judging myself based on that great intention that I have and then I end up judging other people based on their actions rather than giving them the benefit of the doubt. I've been studying a little bit about um, good speech, proper speech uh, from Chovah Time. This is the family lesson a day and whether you're studying it with the family or alone, some really eye-opening stuff. But he was talking today in today's lesson about giving the benefit of the doubt. So like if you heard a, a friend of yours had a, had a court case and he was speaking bad about the judge, because the judge brought down a, you know, a bad verdict or something, that you really should um, try your best not to agree because you weren't at the hearing. You don't know if the judge ruled correctly or not. So you don't want to listen uh, when somebody's um, saying something negative about another person. He brought another example where he said um, that... Uh, there was a, a lady who didn't go to work for two days. She'd called in sick. And on the second day, uh, a couple of co-workers saw her at lunch. And she's having lunch with a couple of other people. So one co-worker looks over and says, oh, looky there. And the other one says, yeah, I guess she just didn't want to come to work. And the Hope of Time says, look, the problem is, is that both of these people are guilty of evil speech because they don't know. They're not giving her the benefit of the doubt. They don't know all of the circumstances surrounding it. It could be that she really could not get out of that lunch. She really, really didn't want to go, but for some reason, she really like a friend needed her more than however she was feeling. Um, it it could be that her fever broke an hour before she was getting ready to head in. Maybe she'd already called the office and said, "Hey, I'm going to be heading in. I'm just grabbing a quick bite to eat." So there's lots of scenarios that we don't know everything, and we really have to give each other the benefit of the doubt and not giving somebody else the benefit of the doubt will often lead you to evil speech. So let's all do our best to give each and every person, including ourselves, <laughs> the benefit of the doubt. You guys have a great weekend.